And uh, Congressman Judge Poe uh, needs to get back to our Foreign Affairs uh, Committee, and he insists that I go first. I insist that he go first. That was a <laughs> moment. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to, uh, to join my colleagues. I've introduced Judge uh, Poe, Congressman Lincoln diaz Pilar, who has been uh, on the side of the Iranian people in their quest for freedom and justice and human rights for so many years. Uh, Congressman Mario diaz Pilar, who's been leading the charge also with our more newly uh, elected uh, members on making sure that they understand how high the stakes are. And it's a pleasure for me to join our colleagues today and so many Iranian American friends to raise awareness about the situation in Camp Ashraf, which is right there, the poster uh, behind Judge Poe. The United States of America is the beacon of human rights and freedom for people around the world. Thank you, Mike. Through our actions and our examples, we have helped spread the blessings of liberty to hundreds of millions of people throughout the world. And so it is all the more important that our nation uphold the commitments that we have made regarding human rights. We have committed to humanitarian protections for all of the residents of Camp Ashraf in Iraq. When we transferred responsibility for the security of Ashraf, of Ashraf to the Iraqi government, we sought and we received Iraqi assurances that the residents would be treated humanely. However, repeated actions by the Iraqi security forces has called those guarantees into question. In the face of such horrid behavior, the U.S. is obligated, obligated, to take all necessary and appropriate steps to uphold our commitments and ensure that all of the Ashraf residents are treated humanely and are not forcibly returned to Iran. Do you agree? Yes. yes. And this is why all of us have co-sponsored House Resolution 704 behind Lincoln and Mario there, and why the majority, the majority of our fellow members of Congress have joined us in supporting this important resolution. And we of course want to thank our distinguished colleague from California, Mr. Filner, for authoring this resolution. We join him in calling for this resolution to go to the House floor in a timely manner. We've got to send a clear message to the residents of Camp Ashraf that the United States Congress stands with them. And I'd like to take a moment to look at the bigger picture. Unfortunately, as we know, innocent Iranians have spent over three decades under the radical, repressive Iranian regime the Islamic regime in Iran, and we will soon celebrate the Iranian New Year. And that, they, that, uh, that word, as you know, Nauruz, literally means new day. And I hope that this Nauruz new day will be a new day for human rights and freedom for the people of Iran. Let it be done. Thank you to you for your strong grasping support for making this happen. And now the real hope.